In March of 2017, Canada was the first country in the world to announce a national AI strategy. Our strategy really focuses on building rich and diverse ecosystems, AI ecosystems across the country, and in building very deep pools of talented individuals with AI skills and expertise. The strategy has four main pillars. First, we wanted to establish new centers of excellence for AI research and innovation. And these are our national AI institutes. They are Amy in Edmonton, Alberta, Mila in Montreal, Quebec, and the Vector Institute in Toronto, Ontario. Second, we wanted to focus on uh, retaining and attracting talent to Canada. And so we do that through the Canada CIFAR AI Chairs Program, which provides dedicated funding for five years to world-class AI researchers. The third pillar of the strategy is our national program of activities, which uh, undertakes conferences, workshops, training programs across the country to bring researchers together and to give trainees the skills that they need. And fourthly, our AI and Society program is an international effort to work with experts and thought leaders uh, around the world to understand the societal implications of AI. Many firms have recognized that the pipeline of skilled talents that's been developed by Canada's AI strategy has been a key factor for innovation. As a result of our investment, Canada is now home to over 800 AI companies, 20 research labs, 70 accelerators, and over 45 multinational firms have dedicated AI research centers across Canada. As AI transforms industry and society, the Government of Canada has been working closely with partners such as CIFAR in preparation for the future of work. Building on its research and talent capacities, Canada's national programs, such as the Innovation Supercluster Initiative, have made significant investments to foster economic growth and productivity by bringing together small and large companies, academic institutions, and not-for-profit organizations to generate bold ideas in areas such as AI. Canada's superclusters have created thousands of new jobs. For example, Canada's Scale AI Supercluster focuses on driving the adoption and commercialization of AI-powered supply chain solutions across sectors and to boost current and future workforce development through a series of training initiatives. So where are we going next with the Pan-Canadian AI strategy? Well, we have a couple of areas that we think are strategic priorities for the future, areas where AI can really benefit society and where Canada has an opportunity to contribute. The first strategic research priority is on AI for health. So we will be focusing our research and talent development efforts along those lines. And the second is on uh, AI for energy in the environment. At the same time, we know that advancing equity, diversity, and inclusion is critically important if AI is going to really benefit global society. And so we have a vote focus on advancing EDI in our training programs, in our talent programs, and in our international programming as well.